Hello, welcome back. Thank you for staying and thank you for joining if you just joined the program. I've been joined by the PRO for the National Theatre, Ni Aku Tete. I had to take my time and say that so I don't get it wrong. <laughs> Good morning to you and thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning and thank you for having me. All right. So today we are here to talk about a play, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm excited because we hardly see this coming from the National Theatre. I know the National Theatre runs plays most of the time but yeah. when it usually has to be discussed on television or radio it has to do with private uh, production houses so i am particularly excited mm -hmm. that uh, we have you here from the national theater and i'm sure it's a, a shadow of good things coming but tell us more about this play uh I, is it I, I, yes. I, I, yes. what is it about um b before i get to that let me explain that the National Theatre has been doing productions throughout the year. And uh, well, some happens the, the last uh, Thursday of the month, some the last Wednesday, some the first Thursday of the month. So there are programs that run exactly. like, every, every month at the National Theatre. Um, Ayiyi, um, basically it's um, the legendary spider, you know, in, in Ga it's uh, Chia Nanu, in, I can it's Kuntumpo uh, Kuku Anansi, you know. And you remember the story of uh, Anansi and a pot of gold, where Anansi decided that he was going to gather all wisdom into a pot of gold and then uh, climb a tree with it. And at the end, when he finished uh, gathering all wisdom into the pot and he was climbing, the, the pot fell and wisdom spread Spread-a-verse. all over in the world. Yes. So the story is, is about Anansi. But this particular production, it's um, a total theater production, that's what we call it, because there is music, there is dance, there is drama, and uh, uh, movement and dialogue and all that. So that uh, it involves all these, you know, that culminates in one major production. And it's so interesting, you know. Uh, it goes through a lot of things before it, it gets to the final destination. Mm. And I say it's born in the upper, upper region, <coughs> And he moves through the regions, visiting <coughs> festivals, visiting festivals uh, naming ceremonies, uh, uh, programs of, of, of culture, till he gets to Accra, and then the play concludes. So it's, it's really not like a play in itself. It's what we call a total production or okay. uh, dance drama, sort of. Okay. Yes. Is it what some people refer to as a melodrama? So you've got music, no, no, or is it more than a melodrama? It's more than a melodrama. Melodrama is quite different from mm. total, total theater. Mm. Total theater involves, like I said, music, dance, drama. You know, okay. where you have all the three performing arts segments combining in one particular production. Okay. You know, yeah, so that is what is going to happen for so, us. So you've given us a teaser, we have a fair idea. This is, has a bit of the Anansi story in there, but the, are there other cultural influences or adaptations from other parts of the world? No, strictly it's, it's Ghanaian. Um, Anansi, like I said, travels through the country and uh, <coughs> he, he goes to festivals, naming ceremonies, uh, uh, birth, that no, funerals, and the marriage ceremonies. And these are the core cultures of Ghana. From, okay. from birth, yeah, yeah, you're you, right. You, you, you marry, mm -hmm. then you die. Mm -hmm. If you give birth, you, you name your child. Mm. So those are, those are the areas. The faces of life. Yes. Mm. And, and those are the areas that the, the production concentrates on, mm. you know. Okay. So is it the first time you're doing what you call the full theater, where these music, dance, uh, and uh, drama, drama come together, fused into no, one production? No, we, we've done uh, uh, total theater productions over the years. Uh, last two years, so before COVID, we had a grow, a grow, is it a grow? A in, grow, in, a grow, yeah. yeah. In in Akan, uh, a grow. We've had Bukum, we've had the dilemma of of the king, etc. All of them are productions that are not just on just one segment mm. of the performing arts, but there are various there are various aspects of the performing arts mm. are part of it. Mm. So there is dance, there is drama, there is dialogue, etc. So why should we come and watch Ayi? I mean, Ayi is a must watch because of the fact that the play travels around the country, Ghana. 
So different cultures. For, so all the different cultures of Ghana are part of it. There are those of festivals, there are those of outdooring, like I said, naming ceremonies, funerals, mm -hmm. marriage ceremonies. And when you see AI, you will realize that this particular culture is from my area, this particular dance is from my area, this particular song is from my area. So you, you see yourself in it. I love that because it promotes inclusion. Yes. And it's, it's a good way of reminding ourselves that we are actually one people. That's yeah. a good one. And I think that we should applaud the National Theatre for doing this. So when does it go live and where can we get tickets to buy? Tickets, um, first tickets, tickets are being sold at Joy FM, the National Theatre, Airport Shell, Koala, Frankie's, and then... Um, I think, yeah, these are the ticket points. And how much are they going for? Uh, it's 80 CDs per, per ticket. Oh, that's very cool. Yes, very it's, cool. it's very cool. And uh, the production is this Saturday. Okay. The first show is at 4 p.m. The second is at 7 p.m. And then Sunday, uh, 4 p.m. and, and uh, 7 p.m. Uh, that is 27th, 28th of August. At the National Theatre. At the National Theatre. Okay. Yes. So, so, so here's a deal, guys. You pass through the conference centre for our Ecobank Drones Habitat Fair, then at 4 o'clock, you can pass by, or when we close at 7 p.m., you can go for the second show. It's a cool deal, and I'm sure it'll, be, it'll give you a great time uh, this particular weekend. Uh, your final words, Ni, as we wrap up the conversation. What I will say is that uh, IEA is a very good production. I've seen it myself, and uh, a lot of people have seen it. Uh, when it gets started, and you as an audience member, you get involved, you will never get tired of it till the end of the show. It is so interesting and so amazing that you ought to be there mm. for that one. Don't miss it. And I invite you to be there. Okay, I will be there. This weekend is happening 4 p.m., two shows on Saturday, two shows on Sunday, 4 p.m. and, and 7, 7 p.m. Same times for the Sunday uh, shows. And this is... I, I would love to see this because, like I said, it promotes inclusion. You're having a play that focuses on every aspect of our life mm -hmm. and also focusing on the different cultures that mm -hmm. we yeah. have Inga. in the country. I've been speaking to Ni Ako. Ako. Ako, all right. I need to <laughs> practice my gun better. <laughs> Ni Ako. Ako, yes. Tete. Te -te. From the, I almost said Tete, <laughs> Tete, yes. from, the, uh, from the National Theatre. He speaks for the National Theatre. Thank you so much. Don't forget, you can get tickets here at Joy FM, 80 Ghana CDs, just 80 Ghana CDs. Get one for, for a friend, and let's just de-stress uh, this weekend. But that'll be it for, for Benjamin and I for this edition of the AM Show. Thank you so much for making time to be with us. Up next is News Desk. Do stay for that, and see you God willing tomorrow.